What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the foot swaps 84 rated Juan Jesus. It is coming up next. <laughs> So in today's video, we are having a quick look at Juan Jesus. He will cost you six foot swap players, and I think that's pretty reasonable in general. He is only 84 rated, but by God, this card has some really nice stats. And I thought, you know what, out of out of all of them I've seen this week, obviously the 80, I think it's 87, uh, De, La, De La Feu, is it? Something like that. Um, he looks really tasty, looks really nice, but... I can't really justify doing all, uh, I think it's 13, 14 foot swaps realistically for that card. Whereas, six cards for this one, very easy to do. Um, you pretty much get handed them. But, like, I, I've really, I could have got this ages ago, but you really just get handed six pretty easily. So, really, really nice, really happy with it. And I thought, you know what? 82 pace, 84 defended, and 87 physical. You can't really pass that one up, and especially in the Serie A with the Brazilian nationality, that is a really, really nice linkable card. So, if I'm going to put a shadow chemistry on him, it puts him up to 94 pace and 92 defending. So, again, you can really shoot this card up and it will become very, very nice. So, going into some basic information on him. He has got the two-star weak foot with two-star skill moves. He is left-footed, standing at six foot one with a high attack, uh, with a high defensive work rate and a low uh, attacking work rate. So, realistically, that's pretty solid all round already. Left-footed, so most defenders... Mm, a good majority of defenders are right-footed when it comes to centre-back. So, really nice to see the left-footed on him. Having Can have him on one side and possibly Thiago Silva. Uh, you've got um, Chiellini, all of them on the right-hand side. Uh, so, really, really nice base stats there. Again, that is always just a nice little bonus there. So, if I just reset the chemistry style bonus... With the 82 pace, he does have 83 acceleration and 80 sprint speed. Really, really nice for a defender. I think 80 plus for a defender is pretty outstanding, obviously. Defenders are, nowadays anyway, getting a little bit faster than, than what they were. But it's really nice to see a nice 84 card like this. Then we've got 80 crossing. Again, that's pretty irrelevant. But I just thought, you know what, throw it in there. He's got 81 reactions, 81 composure. Again, really, really like that. Um, and then we've got the, the two good stats. We've got the physicality being 87, which gives him 93 jumping, 93 aggression, 87 strength, and 79 stamina. Stamina really, for a defender, doesn't really make too much of an impact, especially as a centre-back, because predominantly they are spent most of the time at the back. So... Again, that's not really uh, major concerns, but the, the stats around it, really, really solid. Then we move on to the 84 defending. So he has 84 interceptions, 86 standing tackle, 82 sliding tackle, as well as marking, and then a 79 heading accuracy. So, again, these stats are really, really nice for an 84 rated. Realistically, it would cost you... I think just time. I think you could actually get six by getting the one free that you normally get at the start of the month. And then I'm pretty sure squad battles and objectives every week. I think you could probably do it in two to probably two weeks with all the objectives. Literally, all you have to do is play. You don't have to spend any coins on this card and you're golden. Looking at this shadow chemistry style, I think that would probably be your best bet. His physicality is really, really strong already. And then... You can get the pace up to 94 and you can get the defending up to 92. So no 99 stats in that as well, which is I find is good because you're using all of that chemistry style rather than, say, getting like a plus 5 instead of a plus 10 um, if you get my drift. So really, really nice stats there. Um, I think he will be one of the ones that is a very underrated player for me. I think he's absolutely solid going um Pace-wise, I think he's very, very fast. He's got really good defending stats, especially if you wear that shadow on. You're pretty much getting a very, very high-rated uh, centre-back for that. And then the physicality of him is it's flawless. I think he's a very, very usable card. Um, very underrated in the sense that he is only 84-rated, but his card plays must be at least an 86, 87. So I definitely recommend getting this one in the foot swaps this, mo uh, this month. I think we've got a couple weeks left before we have to decide or you have to decide. I've pretty much decided my fate now. So let me know down below what you think. I'm giving him an overall rating of 8.8. .8. I think he is absolutely solid to play with. Um, there is still a few aspects that could obviously get a little bit better. Obviously, no one's perfect. But 
I think this card is definitely for the rating he is value for, for foot swaps. Yeah, value for money, value for foot swaps. Yeah, we'll go with that. So let me know down below have you used this card. I think he's a very, very good player. Let me know what you think and let me know who, who else have you gone for. Is there anyone else for foot swaps you've gone for instead of this one? Let me know down below. Make sure you like this video for more content coming very, very soon. And let me know down below what you'd like to see next. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all again next time. Peace.